Are you ready to learn the secrets of the rich and wealthy? Buckle up because we're about to reveal the 10 golden rules of money that the affluent apply but the poor don't. We're not talking about generic advice like save your pennies or buy low, sell high. No, these are the real deal, time-tested strategies that the wealthy swear by. Think of it as your personal guide to the money-making mindset of the rich. So are you ready to step into the shoes of the rich and wealthy? Let's dive right in. Rule 1. Understand the magic of compound interest. It's the snowball effect that can turn a small amount into a fortune. Now you might be thinking, what's this hocus pocus about compound interest? Well let me break it down for you. Imagine you're rolling a snowball down a hill. As it rolls it gathers more snow growing larger and larger. That's exactly how compound interest works. Your initial investment is the snowball, and the snow it gathers is the interest. But here's the twist. The snowball doesn't just gather snow, it gathers snow on snow. That's right, you earn interest not only on your original investment but also on the interest you've already earned. It's interest on interest, my friends. Over time this can significantly increase your wealth, turning even a modest investment into a hefty sum. So remember the sooner you start, the more you earn. Time is money, literally. Rule 2. Always pay yourself first. It's not about being selfish, it's about being smart. Let's break it down. Picture your paycheck as a pie. The moment it lands, everybody wants a piece. The landlord, the utility companies, the grocery store. But what about you? Shouldn't you get the first piece of your hard-earned pie? Absolutely. Paying yourself first means setting aside a portion of your income for your savings before you start paying bills or other expenses. It's like a financial self-care routine. This isn't about disregarding your financial obligations, it's about prioritizing your financial well-being and future security. Think of it as planting seeds for your money tree. The more seeds you plant today, the more robust your money tree will be tomorrow. It's a habit that can create a cushion for emergencies, fund your dreams, and build wealth over time. So, before you pay anyone else, make sure you've paid yourself. Your future self will thank you. Rule 3. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify your investments. Now you might be thinking, why would I scatter my precious money around? But let me tell you folks, diversification is not about scattering. It's about smartly allocating your assets across different investment types. It's like a safety net, a buffer against the unpredictable tides of the market. Imagine having a garden with only one type of plant. If a disease hits that particular species, your entire garden is toast. But if you have a variety of plants, some might get hit, but others will thrive. That's diversification in a nutshell. It reduces the risk of major losses and at the same time, increases the potential for returns. So, whether it's stocks, bonds, real estate or collectibles, don't shy away from spreading your wealth across different types of investments. Remember, diversity isn't just the spice of life, it's the security of your wealth. Rule 4. Debt is a wealth killer. Stay away from it as much as possible. Let's get real folks. Debt is like a leech. It attaches itself to your hard-earned money and slowly drains it away. It's the financial equivalent of a horror movie villain, always lurking in the shadows waiting to pounce. The first reason why debt is detrimental to wealth building is the interest. Every dollar you're paying in interest is a dollar that's not going towards your savings or investments. It's a dollar that's not working for you, but against you. Secondly, unnecessary debt can lead to a vicious cycle. You borrow to pay off your debts, and then you end up with more debt. It's like trying to put out a fire with gasoline. The best way to avoid unnecessary debt? Live within your means. If you can't afford it now, save until you can. So before you swipe that credit card, think twice. Is it worth the debt? Rule 5. This one's simple. Spend less than you earn. Let's break it down a notch. It's not about penny pinching or denying yourself the pleasures of life. No, no, my friends. It's about making smart choices. It's about understanding the difference between wants and needs. It's about prioritizing your future over instant gratification. Imagine a bucket with a small hole. The water flowing in is your income, and the water trickling out is your expenditure. If you're pouring in water faster than it's leaking out, your bucket will eventually fill up. That's your wealth accumulating. But what happens when you're leaking more water than you're pouring in? Your bucket will never fill up. It's as simple as that. Living below your means doesn't mean you have to live a frugal life. It means making decisions today that will create a more prosperous tomorrow. Remember, it's not about how much you earn, but how much you keep. Rule 6. Never stop learning. Financial education is your best investment. Picture this. You're a sailor navigating an ever-changing sea. The wind changes direction, the currents shift, and new paths open up. Your success depends on your ability to adapt. 
to understand the changes and steer your ship accordingly. The world of finance is that sea, and you my friend are the sailor. Continuous learning is your compass. It keeps you updated with financial trends and news, it equips you with the skills to navigate market volatility, and it empowers you to make informed decisions. It's not just about reading a book or attending a seminar, it's about cultivating a mindset of curiosity, being open to new ideas, and never being satisfied with your current level of knowledge. So invest in your financial education. Knowledge is power, and power is wealth. Rule 7. Don't rely on a single income, make your money work for you. In the game of wealth, one income stream is a vulnerable strategy. Imagine a table with only one leg, it doesn't take much to topple it over. Now imagine a table with several legs. It's strong, resilient, and can hold more weight. That's exactly how your income should be, diversified and resilient. Consider the concept of passive income. It's money that you earn without actively working for it. This could be royalties from a book you've written, dividends from stocks you own, rental income from properties you've invested in, the possibilities are endless. Having multiple income streams provides a safety net. If one source of income dries up, you have others to fall back on. It's a buffer against the unexpected, a shield against the storms of economic uncertainty. So, start exploring, start diversifying. Find new ways to make your money work for you. Remember, the more sources of income you have, the more secure your wealth. Rule 8. Buy assets, not liabilities. Let your money grow. You see, assets are those things that put money into your pocket. They can be anything from stocks, bonds, real estate properties, or even a business. On the other hand, liabilities are items that take money out of your pocket. These are often in the form of loans, mortgages, or that shiny new car you've been eyeing. Now why is it important to invest in assets? Well simply put, assets generate income and increase in value over time. They help build wealth. Liabilities however only provide temporary satisfaction but can potentially drain your finances in the long run. An effective strategy of the wealthy is to buy assets first, and then use the income from those assets to cover their liabilities. It's about turning the tables and having your money work for you instead of the other way around. So, next time you're making a purchase, ask yourself, is it an asset or a liability? Rule 9. Don't work for money. Make your money work for you. Ah, the sweet sound of passive income. The rich don't just earn they make their earnings earn for them. It's like a golden goose laying endless golden eggs. But how do you get this golden goose you ask? Well, start by investing. It's like planting a seed that grows into a money tree. Stocks, bonds, real estate, mutual funds, you name it. These are not just fancy words the rich throw around at cocktail parties. They are tools to make money work while you sleep. And it's not just about investing, it's about smart investing. It's about understanding the market, taking calculated risks, and making informed decisions. It's about being patient, consistent, and keeping emotions out of the equation. Because at the end of the day, money is a tool. An employee, if you will. The more efficiently you use it, the harder it works for you. Remember, your money is your employee. Make it work hard. And finally, rule 10. Be patient. Wealth building is a marathon, not a sprint. What's the secret behind the legendary tortoise and hare story? The tortoise won because it understood the power of patience. The same principle applies to wealth building. When it comes to getting rich, there are no quick fixes or overnight successes. It's about making smart financial decisions consistently over time. You see, wealth building is akin to a piece of art. It takes time to mold, shape, and perfect. You can't rush the process. Each stroke, each decision, no matter how small, contributes to the larger masterpiece. Think of some of the wealthiest individuals in the world. Did they make their fortunes overnight? No, they didn't. They had a vision, a plan, and most importantly, the patience to see it through. So the next time you're tempted to take a shortcut or grow frustrated with your progress, remember this rule. It's not about speed, it's about steady, consistent growth. So keep your eyes on the prize and be patient. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is wealth. And there you have it. The 10 golden rules of money that the rich know and the poor don't. From the power of compound interest to the necessity of patience, these rules are the stepping stones to wealth. They aren't exclusive to the rich. Anyone can apply them, starting today. If you found these rules insightful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content like this. Remember, the journey to wealth begins with a single step. So what are you waiting for? Start applying these rules today.